got to have some pesticides in it or something. They're definitely doing something to this lake. Oh my gosh! No! Got him uh, up! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Uh. Joey Slam! here having some fun excuse the word but we're looking for those invasive snakeheads that pee is right on the shore guys i don't know if you guys can see but look at this invasive snake peacock bass right here at the end of my rod oh, we see him he's just following us the entire way hopefully he can bring some snakehead up to us snakehead like to go ahead and chill on the shore i know it's a little windy but they chill on the shore and hide in this little seaweed right here these brushes and then they're ambush predators so we're using a topwater frog because they love to crush top waters. And we kind of just bring it right across the bank as well as right across those weeds. Look at those peacock bass. Any hopes? I've got peacock bass on frogs, but they gotta be really hungry. So we're gonna continue working this beautiful lake and see if we can go ahead and catch a giant. Look at that. He's like following us all the way through. He's so cute. Hey buddy, you wanna eat? No dice. Maybe next time. Oh my gosh, did you see that peacock oh, bass? Shot. I told you guys that peacock bass love frogs too. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Dude, there's stuff around, but they're not taking it. Oh Whoa. my god, that was a snakehead. Guys, oh. we're out here having a great time looking for snakehead. Where is he? Is he there still? He's right here. He's right here. Do I still have him? Oh, I still have him. <gasps> oh my god. Show me! <laughs> that was crazy. I don't oh know if you guys god. saw that, but I wrecked that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is what we're looking for right here. Bullseye snakehead. That guy was hungry. Did you see that? I saw that. Perfect. Come on. Come on. I know it's windy, guys. Let go, buddy. Let go. Look at that. Oh! Woo, oh! Woo, woo. Slippery. Slippery, slippery guy. So these guys are not allowed to be here. So what I'm doing right now with my friend, Oliver, what's going on, bro? What's up? Spot hunting for these snakeheads to come back and go bow fishing with them. Right now it's windy, so we can't really go ahead and bow fish. But when it's nice and calm, maybe at night, we're gonna come out here and stone oh. some of these for dinner. Oh, oh! These things are very slimy and cool. But imagine that one of your tanks, right? so cool this is so cool they're really really cool pets i see them in like monster fish keepers online other videos on instagram but unfortunately here we cannot keep them so you get to live for now but we're coming back with a bow later on see you later buddy dude i thought he got off the hook i know that was freaking <gasps> insane dude what a hook set i literally just flipped them on the hook set sweet let's get some more oh my god there's one right here watch this here it comes and let go. Oh, oh my I got word. caught. <sighs> Did you see how big that one was? <laughs> he had such a lame bite. I saw him come up for air. Did you guys see that? We saw it. It's my heart. It's so hot. Why? That looked like my personal best. Pathetic. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Come on, Joey Slay. This water is so weirdly blue. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a fog on top of it. Yeah. I don't know if they've been spraying pesticides or possibly poisoning this lake. So look, there's like these air bubbles and these chemicals on top. So I don't know if that's why it's been hard to get some fish. It's affecting the fishing for sure, but really odd. Whoa, they're gone. That's really weird. So here, come over here. I guess they're trying to spray this algae down. The plants are growing and trying to kill all these plants which are good for fishing and just for that lake, but look at that. It's like blue heat. Look how blue it is. Oh yeah. It's not really affecting the fish, but I don't know why they're doing this. Let's go ahead and see what's, what's on the other side. Okay. All right, there's an iguana there. Oh, there's a billion iguanas at home. Oh they're on the other side, it's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> little raptors. Don't jump in, don't spook. I'm gonna cast across. Chill out. Chill out. Don't scare all the stuff. Chill out. 
pretty sure they scared anything that was going to be around. There's so many freaking iguanas around nowadays. It's crazy. So Tom's come around and go pew pew. Let me know in the comments below if she go ahead and stop popping some iguanas. Look at how blue this water is. It's so weird. It's got to have some pesticides in it or something. They're definitely doing something to this lake. Maybe trying to eradicate all those fruit, the snake heads or something. I'm not sure. But, dude, this is really gross. It even stinks. Yeah, it smells pretty bad. Terrible. Oh my gosh. Dude, these iguanas are everywhere. I feel like that's the only thing that survived in this pond. Everything's gone. I haven't seen a single fish because that one snake head. But I think that snake head was silly. Look at that. Rope. Even, even smells this guy. Smells like they just sprayed too. Literally, have to have just sprayed. Still blue. Still blue. It's so gross. Let's see if anything's in this opening right here. Just in case. The only opening. Come on. Anyone? It's such a shame. So it seems that. On this side, there's life. For sure, it seems like there's life. I'll have something to follow me and wait. Oh, anyone? Look at this piece. All these peas just came out of nowhere. There's like 35 feet. I'm exaggerating. There's like five peas. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's life here. Is anyone home? I see yeah, some you guys bait. can't see. There's, there's bait, there's tilapia. There's life. Look guys, as you guys can see, there's life, there's big peas. Look at that solid pea. Look at that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Realized it was a frog. Dude, these things are nothing short of three and a half, four pounders right here. Oh, they're huge. They're massive. Now you can see them, right? They're big boys. They're huge. Bro, live bait. Easy money sniping with them things, boy. Decided to go ahead and change it up to the finesse. Nice light test. Really want to catch one of these peacocks. So, whoa, I'm gonna call myself. You guys ready? Check it We're out. ready. Look on top. Watch this. There you go. <laughs> that was fast. Oh my gosh. So, on this side of the lake, there's life. On the other side of the lake, there's death. So, life, death. That was really fast. That was instant. How 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 many seconds do you think that was, guys? Three seconds. Three seconds? You dropped it in the water and he went right yeah, after. That was instant. Here, buddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. So pound it. Okay. Sorry for the noise, but check what's inside the pipe. Pipes always produce. Anyone in the pipe? Hello? Oh! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Oh my gosh! Out of the huge. pipe comes cool fish. Come on, let's go. Drop it. Bounce. 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 Oh! Bounce. Bounce. Oh! Oh! Look, he's coming out. Try not to spook him. See if I can cast right on top of him. He's huge. Oh, he didn't uh, like the jig. Oh, he didn't like the jig. But we want it. Oh, he's chasing the bluegill. He's chasing the bluegill. Bro, dude, I have a cast net. And there's plenty of bluegill. Is it time to go ahead and actually stop using this jig and go after that big old pea with a live bluegill? Let's Let do it. All right, guys. So we got the cast net. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and throw some bread right there. See if something comes out to play. Come on. All I need is one bait, maybe two. Yeah, this will go right there. We're gonna really have to open up this net and lose it to some rocks. They're eating. A little further out. I think I got this right here. Yeah, at least one. Right? Yeah, three. Uh, oh, what is this? Look at that. Oh, dude, what is this? Bro, is this what I think it is? Show us. Mega! Look at that. Look at the size of that thing, dude. 
Might be time. It looks like a red ear. It's huge. Red ear. Look at the size. That's exactly what it is. They're similar to bluegill. They're panfish, but they call red ear because of the red ear. Look at that guy. A little surprise. Let's get this guy go. One, two. See you later. But what we're looking for is in the mix. Come on. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the difference of that one. Check this out. Bluegill right here. Prime time. Bait. What else we got anymore? That was a toy. That's all we got right now, right? Yeah. Perfect. So I have my rig right here, ready to go. We have this one. Where, where is it? Oh, it's off here. There's the hook. We got it ready to go. Time to go after that beautiful peacock. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. No luck on the people. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy. Appreciate your donations. Maybe that crappie jig will go ahead and bring up those peas again. this time oh he's getting me into the pipe got him out of the pipe nice not the size we're looking for but still a pretty peacock nonetheless there's a giant in the mist but slayers i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next slay adventure